Hey guys, welcome back to the Scott Spot. Uh, you're watching The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, and I am Scott. So, yeah, this is exactly where we left off last time, and we got the big key so we can get to the boss, but there's a couple more things that we need to take, need to take care of before we can do that. But hopefully we can get that in this video, but no promises. First, I'm not even going to worry about these guys because I can just swim to where I need to go. So yeah, we need to get back to where we were. So yeah, we need to go get up there. How, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. First, let me equip my Deku Leaf. Uh, yeah. So that activates some kind of cyclone. Not sure how that works from this plant, but whatever. And it takes us up here. But we haven't actually been through uh, these plants yet. It's the last area of the temple that we haven't been to, I believe. Dang, I'm down to one heart. <laughs> so this boss might be interesting. Got some uh, moculas in here. Oh crap! Shit. Oh man. This is difficult. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna cut back to this room while I get back here. I've never seen gotten so many game overs. Hero mode doesn't play around. Okay, so that was actually a highly unnecessary cut because that uh warp jar. The warp jar in the first room sort of takes me like right to where I need to go. This time, let's see if we can try a smarter strategy. Yeah, you can stun him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stupid dwarfs. Killing those guys gets rid of the vines. And it creates his chest. <laughs> and they all explode. Yay, a joy pendant. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's keep going. So here we have the antechamber. Also known as the pre boss chamber. Uh, okay. Give me your jelly. There's something inside all these nuts, or pine cones, or whatever you want to call them. Whether it be Morse or otherwise. But I'm going, ahead, going to go ahead and get um, a... Not that. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, an, an empty bottle out because inside one of these should be a fairy. Hopefully I don't waste it. Not in any of those. Come on now. Where are you guys? There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's okay, because we're going to come back to this room anyway. But, if we use this Bucko stick fire, we could actually uncover the last warp jar. Which is pretty convenient. But, we have a couple more things to get in this dungeon before we can move on. Man, I feel like I've gotten a thousand green chew jellies from these guys. How many do I have? Daddy died. Okay, sweet. <laughs> no reason to go after green chew jellies anymore. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, so we actually want to get to the top of this room. I should probably equip the Deku Leaf, huh? Okay. Imagine how fun it would be to use one of these in real life. Like, highly dangerous, but <laughs> why worry about that? But actually, you could keep going up this room, which we didn't do before. Just gotta keep going up the Baba Buds, which are all conveniently arranged. I think that's a fat tentacle. 
We couldn't do this before because you need the boomerang to knock this plant off the fist. And what do we have inside? Not sure. A treasure chart. Woohoo! Uh, this one is treasure chart number 15, I believe. Not sure where it goes, though. Looks like we have some rupees over that way, though. Four green rupees. Oh crap. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that for some reason. Anything in here? Oh crap. Perfect. Then we also have four blue rupees. Awesome. Okay, so with that, I think that we just need to... Yeah, all that's left is the boss. Oh, crap. <laughs> Misjudged that one a little bit. I think it'll be easier to actually go backwards. Yeah, let's do that. And then use the warp jar. Convenient. I landed in that bud because I wanted to make sure it recharged my magic. Just gonna hop on in. The camera will cooperate anyway. Not this room. Drop back in and it takes us to the final room. Alright, I actually want to try to get a pictograph of this fairy. So let's try it. Hey fairy, not good enough, huh? Tch. Come on, fairy. Face me. Fairy. Fairy, why did you go into the wall? What the hell? Where'd she go? She's gone. Well, fuck. Can I leave the room and come back? She needs to not be a bitch, is what she needs to do. Dumb hoe. Alright, let's try this again. Face the camera. Ah. Controls are so finicky. What's it gonna take? Very. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm playing Pokemon Snap. The sensitivity just sucks. I'm gonna not even. Oh. Well, this has to be fun for you guys to watch. Maybe if I hit it from a different angle. Get rid of those guys. Okay, fairy. Play dice. Why is it accounting? Like, really, what's it gonna take? I just realized these fairies have kind of like a Miley Cyrus hairstyle. Okay, that one's good, apparently. So let me just bottle this bitch. And I don't feel bad saying that. Come here. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> wow, this fairy is taking up like two or three minutes of the video, probably. Alright, fairy, you're going down this time. Finally. Okay. And I don't care that she's unhappy because she was a bitch. 
All right, you guys ready for this? Time for the boss. This should be interesting. Get my uh, camera out. Hey, it's the car. I'll take a picture of him later. Just hopefully don't let me forget. You're safe, the car now. Oh crap. How would you eat a piece of wood like that? Well, I guess the car's dead. We failed. <laughs> this guy reminds me of a sort of a bar date from the uh, Ocarina of Time, Jobby Jobby's Billy. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Oh, this boss looks more impressive in HD. Shit. No, no. I don't remember those things doing like that before. Oh, not that bad. So we got a picture graph of the boss now. So what you have to do is... Not that. Oh, jeez. That doesn't look safe. At least you can move around in this version. But yeah, you have to cut down all its tentacles with the uh, boomerang. This boss is known as uh, Caldivos. I'm not sure what that means, but oh crap! So once you knock all those down, it's almost like it fills the room with water or something. Wow, only got one hit in. That's not fair that that hurts you, though. Maybe you're supposed to use your food break on it or something? Oh, ouch. Whoa. Should be able to knock it down with this one. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, come on now. This boss is a little bit more fun now that you can move around while you have the boomerang. Ah. How many times am I going to have to do this? Hopefully not many more. Ah. Jeez. Ugh. Yeah, this boss is definitely a lot more fun if, since you can move around with the boomerang. Oh jeez. Stop doing that. Die! Oh, come on! Okay, it's definitely gonna die on the next turn. Oh wow, it actually killed me. Well, good thing I had a fairy. I wonder if it's even... I thought it only took five, three tries to do this. Oh well. There's still one left. Oh, there's one freaking cable holding it up. Not sure how that works physics-wise. Alright dude, you're going down. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Yay, the car! I really like the victory music in this when you kill a boss. And it wilts. Link is really happy. Swordsman? Are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But, why are you here, swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, th that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. 
Let's get out of here immediately. But first, let me get this heart container that is desperately needed. And I'm also going to need to take a uh, pictograph of you, Bakar. Boom. And with that, we have a full picto, picto box. Let's go, quickly. Well, I don't want to be anticlimactic, so let's go ahead and exit the dungeon. Come on, Bakar. I like how it shows you him warping as well. I really like this scene. You and your stupid tooth. Oh, Bakar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. Yeah, because you're a little troublemaker. Do not worry, Bakar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. Why can't you have done that from the very beginning? It literally took him like two seconds to give that to us. You received Forwar's Pearl. The Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Forwar. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Bakar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Finally. Oh, great, Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you better play hard. He likes to play it hard. Great thank you, Tree. This year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Karox. To the sea. That one has a mushroom, I just noticed. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, Great Swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. And with that, they spread across the ocean. Wow, that was nice. Every year after the crocs perform the ceremony, they fly off to the distant islands on the sea and plant by seeds in the hopes that new forests will grow. Forests hold great power. They can change one tiny island into a much larger land. Soon, a day will come when all the islands are one connected by earth and grove. And the people who live on that great island will be able to join hands and, together, create a better world. Such is my dream. But the one you are chasing is trying to prevent that dream from ever coming to pass. Link, already your fate is tied to the fate of this world. You must proceed with great care. I don't get how Link's dream is going against the Deku trees. Also, I thought that was a reference that they were going to build a new Hyrule doing that, but... That's not what the sequels told us. Thank you, Link, for all that you've done for me. How was my performance? Did it suit your tastes or no? It was short, but sweet. This instrument is the one the great Deku Tree gave to me on the day of my birth. He said it is an instrument that people played long, long ago. It has taken many long hours of practice for me to be able to perform at the level I do now. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on journeys to create new forests in the world. But both Hollow, who studies the making of potions, and I are always on this island. Let's come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. So yeah, sorry the video went on a little longer than usual, but I wanted to include that scene. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked what you saw. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to discuss. And uh, you can even subscribe if you want to see more where it came from. 
Again, I really appreciate you guys watching. This has been The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And I'm Scott. Thanks for watching The Scott Spot.